Alright, so I've let the tablet lie down on the table because I want to show a few things and I'm going to have to use the mouse to do that. Uh, the setup is a bit complicated for me to uh, maneuver through. Let me just show a few uh, examples. These are the background images, or negative images, those which are using to basically train the classifier. These are the images which don't contain the backs of cars. Uh, we actually train it for rear cars. Uh, let me show you a few of those which we use as a training set. This is the uh, Caltech database. Uh, so you see here, cars, 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 and you know, sorts of, some of them would be in traffic, so you have smaller cars too, and we use them for training too of distant cars, and get angles, and so on and so forth. So you get a sense of what's in the uh, database. And each one of those two images, of course, is a car, which we can put in front of the screen, like this, okay, and if I put it like this, I will zoom in for a bit, so I can point my tablet at it, right now pointing the screen, uh, and hopefully, if I point the camera correctly, do you see the car now? That's the back of the car and the tablet, and you see the tablet places the markers around the car, and as I move around, well, basically, I currently use a classifier, a special one, which I built around the single car. Uh, I, I built it for kind of research purposes to see how I'm dealing with the car specific classifier and a uh, classifier that's using loads of different cars in different distances and everything else to do classification. Now it's going to be really really hard with this type of lighting to demonstrate anything because the, the screen isn't absolutely just the brightness from the side and if I put the curtains on you know it's it's going to be more complicated because then I, I need to have some you know sources of lighting from somewhere. Uh, I'm going to try and see what I can do in the next video for the sake of demonstration.